Machines have always made our lives easier. There's a small company in Ann Arbor, Michigan that wants to take it a step further. Cybernet Systems Corporation concentrates on computer-based technologies that enhance human performance. We know physiologically, we know cognitively, we know strength-wise that humans want to do things that their bodies, their minds, their eyes won't let them do. And what we do is use computers and mechanical devices to enable humans to do more. Cybernet has partnered with NASA through the agency's Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR program, to develop a number of instruments. Through an SBIR award from Johnson Space Center, Cybernet developed a force feedback hand controller for the International Space Station. The controller provides a sense of touch or feel to an operator manipulating robots. The technology was the company's first commercialization effort. By partnering with another company in California, they developed a new technology that is now licensed to clients like Microsoft and Logitech for gaming applications. Cybernet has also been able to transfer the technology to an application for the U.S. Army. They're developing a virtual systems integration laboratory for a telemedicine application. The idea is to train surgeons using force feedback robotics instead of you know, live human beings, which makes a lot of sense. Working with Johnson under another SBIR award, Cybernet created a device for the physiological monitoring of space crews. That device has evolved into MedStar, a solution linking patients at home with doctors and caregivers elsewhere via the internet. Patients can monitor conditions like diabetes and congestive heart failure from their own homes. MedStar then collects their data and transmits it through a standard phone line to a management system location such as a hospital. Gesture recognition is another cybernet technology that early on had SBIR funding from Johnson. This technology is used to observe human hand and body motions and identify them with specific common gestures. It then initiates commands associated with the gestures in order to control other devices. Originally developed for a NASA public outreach kiosk, the system is now being used for other applications, such as training. The Army knew that we had a, a expertise in gesture recognition, and they had a virtual reality training project to train dismounted foot soldiers. So we actually installed gesture recognition, recognizing the Army signals in a training facility at the Army Simulation and Training Command in Orlando, Florida. Because of its own unique requirements for artists and engineers to work collaboratively, Cybernet developed a product called NetMax, which is now a commercially available software. Cybernet has also developed technologies and devices that streamline the interfaces between humans and machines for other federal departments, such as DARPA and the Navy. Cybernet actually got its start in the owner's home. Today, although its employees may be figuring out better ways to interact with computers and robots, Cybernet still preserves a family feel and Jacobus is proud to be working with her team. One of the highlights of Cybernet is the brains of the people we have here. That, I'm just so proud of everyone who works here because they're creative, they're motivated, they're very well trained. On its path to success, the company has worked on early, cutting-edge technologies with NASA and others, but they would still like to make life easier for everyone else. Because that's our core competency, there are so many places we can go, but the theme is to take what we have built for 15 years and make it very useful.